Hello and welcome once again to Pale Blue Thoughts. Today is a special episode for me as this is my 200th upload on my channel. All thanks to all of you who have stayed with me throughout my social media journey over the course of the last two and a half years. I still clearly remember the 100th episode, my famous heart pick drinking episode. So what would I be drinking today? Actually nothing. But I thought let me unravel a mystery that all of you would have heard about in your lifetime. The mysterious Bermuda Triangle. A place shrouded in mystery and cloaked in intrigue. For decades, people have been drawn to this enigmatic region of the ocean, seeking answers to the unexplainable and the inexplicable. But what secrets lie hidden beneath these treacherous waters? What forces beyond our understanding are at work here? Is it the work of malevolent spirits or a curse laid down by the ancient mariners? Is it another vortex to another world? Are there aliens at work who are kidnapping mariners and pilots? Or is there a scientific explanation for the strange disappearances that have occurred here over the years? In this video, we will explore the mysteries of two triangles, the Bermuda Triangle and the Devil's Triangle, and attempt to unlock the secrets that have baffled the world for generations. So all aboard the ship and let's discover the mysterious secrets. Also known as the Devil's Triangle, this area of the Atlantic Ocean has been credited for causing mass disappearances and a number of wrecks over the years. While people love to throw around conspiracy theories about each of these Bermuda Triangle stories, there may be perfectly logical explanations for all of them. The Bermuda Triangle is an area of the Atlantic Ocean that doesn't even have an agreed upon boundary. Many people mention different sizes, but it is generally considered to be the area bounded by the southeastern coast of the US, Bermuda and the islands of Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica and Puerto Rico. According to some calculations, the area makes up anywhere between 500,000 and 1.5 million square miles and is triangle-like in shape. It's a pretty big area of ocean in general, though relatively small considering the ocean covers about 70% of the Earth's surface. There is no telling how many ships or planes have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle, but the US Navy estimates that around 50 ships and 20 aircraft have gone missing there. Despite these figures, data does not show that disappearances are more likely in this spot than anywhere else in the world. I shall share a wiki article on the list of disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle if you wish to read. There are two incidents that are considered the notable mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle, especially the disappearances of Flight 19 in 1945 and the USS Cyclops in 1918. The earliest suggestion of unusual disappearances in the Bermuda area appeared in a September 1950 article published in the Miami Herald by a person named Edward Van Winkle Jones. Soon this was taken up by many magazines and newspapers who were looking for some conspiracy theory. A couple of years after that, a person named George Sand wrote an article on a magazine called Fate covering the loss of several planes and ships including the loss of Flight 19 which I will come to later. Sand's article was the first to lay out the now familiar triangular area where the incidents took place as well as to first suggest a supernatural element to the Flight 19 incident. Now this caught the flight of fancy of many conspiracy theories who just took the story and ran with it like they always do. The name Bermuda Triangle was given by Vincent Gaddis who coined the word for his article The Deadly Bermuda Triangle in a magazine which printed fiction. The news got international attention mainly after the release of Charles Berlitz's book The Bermuda Triangle in 1974. Berlitz was a person who believed in paranormal phenomena like the lost city of Atlantis on which he had already written a book. In his book on the Bermuda Triangle, he attempted to link the Bermuda Triangle to Atlantis. He even claimed to have located Atlantis under the ocean in the area of the Bermuda Triangle. One of the most notable disappearance stories and one oft mentioned by conspiracy theorists is that of Flight 19 in 1945. Flight 19 was a set of five torpedo bombers that went on a training mission to that area in 1945. They got caught in a violent storm and vanished without a trace. The most logical theory as to why they vanished is that the lead pilot, Lieutenant Charles Taylor's compass, failed. 
he miscalculated that some small islands that he saw was Florida Keys and instead of going towards the land, he flew further into the sea. The other planes which contained trainee pilots were not equipped with working navigational instruments. They were trained to follow their leader and so they did. The group was disoriented and simply, though tragically, ran out of fuel. No mysterious forces were likely to have been involved other than the mysterious force of gravity that would affect planes with no fuel. They would have plunged into the ocean taking the 14 crew along with it. It is true that one of the rescue planes blew up shortly after takeoff but this was likely due to a faulty gas tank rather than to any mysterious forces. Another 13 lives lost there too. Once the conspiracy theory caught on, there were many stories of such mysterious disappearances in the area which included some stories which did not happen in that area at all. There is no clear indication that these disappearances have anything to do with the supernatural but they are still unexplained. Conspiracy theorists have proposed many different though mostly superstitious and illogical reasons as to why disappearances and disasters occur in the Bermuda Triangle. Some have theorized that the area is a hotbed of alien activity stating that these extraterrestrial beings are abducting humans for study. Others like Charles Burlist have suggested that it is the real life location of the lost continent of Atlantis therefore making it a portal to another dimension. Just like I explained in my previous video on Brandolini's law, conspiracy travels faster than real truth. Just a year after the release of Burlitt's book, in 1975, Larry Kush wrote a book titled The Bermuda Triangle Mystery Solved, in which he debunked the claims made by Burlitt's and others with solid evidence. Kush research revealed a number of inaccuracies and inconsistencies between Berlitz accounts and statements from eyewitnesses, participants and others involved in the initial incidents. Kush noted cases where crucial information went unreported such as the disappearance of Donald Crowhurst, a person who undertook an around the world boat race which Berlitz had presented as a Bermuda Triangle mystery. But in reality, the guy was trying to cheat his way through the race by reporting false positions in an attempt to appear to complete the circumnavigation without actually doing so. He finally committed suicide after succumbing to the pressure of trying to win the race. But this was accounted for by Berlitz as Bermuda Triangle Mystery. Kush in his research concluded that the number of ships and aircrafts reported missing in the area was not significantly greater proportionally speaking than in any other part of the ocean. In an area frequented by tropical hurricanes, the number of disappearances that did occur were for the most part neither unlikely nor mysterious. Furthermore, Berlitz and other writers often fail to mention such storms or even mention that the disappearance happened in calm conditions when the meteorological records clearly contradicted this. The numbers themselves had been exaggerated by sloppy research. Some disappearances had in fact never happened. One plane crash in 1937 that was supposed to have crashed in the triangle actually happened off Daytona Beach, Florida in front of hundreds of witnesses. In fact, in his book Kush writes that if Berlitz were to report that a boat was red, the chance of it being some other color is almost a certainty. That was how reliable Berlitz was. There are several natural explanations that have been given for the supposed phenomenon. Several eyewitnesses have stated compass variations that seems to appear when over that area. While some have theorized that there might be something there which causes magnetic abnormalities in the area, such anomalies have not been found. Compasses have natural magnetic variations in relation to the magnetic poles, a fact which navigators have known for centuries. Magnetic north and geographic true north are not exactly the same. This can lead to navigation failure though it should be noted that magnetic anomalies are found all over the world and are not exclusive to this area. I have mentioned about it in this video which you can take a look after this. Another explanation is the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream is a major surface current that originates in the Gulf of Mexico and then flows to the Straits of Florida into the North Atlantic. In essence, it is a river within an ocean and like a river, it can and does carry floating objects. A small plane making a water landing or a boat having engine trouble can be carried away from its reported position by the current. Another explanation for some of the disappearances has focused on the presence of large fields of 
methane hydrates which is a form of natural gas on the continental shelves. Although having evidence that they are capable of sinking small ships, the US Geological Survey reports that no large releases of methane gas hydrates are believed to have occurred in the Bermuda Triangle for the past 15,000 years. So that claim is also another gas. Another simple and natural explanation that is more possible than any other are hurricanes or violent storms that frequent the area. Many Atlantic hurricanes pass through the triangle and before the advent of weather satellites, ships often had little or no warning of hurricanes approach and they could end up at the bottom of the sea. There is also a conspiracy theory floating that pilots generally avoid flying over that area. A simple search of Flightradar24 website proves this wrong. This clearly shows that there are many flights crisscrossing the Bermuda Triangle. So it is clear that this area is not actively avoided. Now Berlitz didn't stop there. If there was such a dangerous area in the Atlantic, should the Pacific Ocean be left behind? The Dragon's Triangle or Devil Sea is an area off the coast of Japan that is said to be comparable to the Bermuda Triangle. Charles Berlitz, who made the Bermuda Triangle a mystery with his creative storytelling, did the same for the Dragon's Triangle in his 1989 book with the same title. Berlitz claimed that between 1952 and 1954, Japan lost five military vessels and over 700 crew members in the Dragon's Triangle. The Japanese government then sent another research ship to the sea for investigating unexplained ship losses, but the ship vanished as well. Larry Kush once again proved to be Berlitz's nemesis here. Kush sent letters to the government offices which were related to the sea, but nobody knew about the Devil Sea or such a danger area. The research ship that was sent was actually sent to investigate an undersea volcano and the vessel disappeared due to the explosion. The area is rife with undersea volcanoes. Islands appear and disappear regularly due to the high volcanic activity in the area. Apparently, the area got its name from the volcanic activity and resultant formations and deformations resulting from the lava flow. Some mystery mongers claim that the Bermuda and Dragon Strangles are directly across one another and that if you went from the center of one through the earth, you would end up in the center of the other. As usual, some conspiracy theorists have been promoting the idea that this area is an undersea alien base. Are you surprised? I am not. So all it took was one man's creative imagination to make two areas on earth into a dangerous place for ships and planes. People who fall for any conspiracy theories need no further evidence to believe in the fairy tales. To finally put the story to rest, a 2013 study done by the World Wide Fund for Nature identified the world's 10 most dangerous waters for shipping, but the Bermuda Triangle and Devil's Triangle were not among them. So this is a prime example of Brandolini's law in action where I had to make a more than 15 minute video to show you with evidence that what we thought was a mysterious place in the ocean where aliens were supposed to abduct people for conducting studies on them was nothing but a figment of imagination. I hope you understood the real truth and also liked the content. Please share it with others to help this channel reach many more. You may support me through buy me a coffee through the link in the description. I take leave from a 200th upload and I shall see you very soon with the 201st. Until then, it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.